Hearts present here and on behalf of really the nation, we would like to thank you and we look forward to your leadership, sir, because we have exactly one year and 14 days. Uh, and if we could, under your leadership, take this countdown and set the target that with one, with the time ticking away and with our deadline just a, a year away, if we can get basic things like uh, uh, Azad Maidan is with BMC, uh, sorry, with PWD, uh, August Kanti Maidan is with BMC, uh, Sardar Gruha, at least even though it is privately owned, if it can be declared either a national monument under Archaeological Survey of India or if uh, the, st uh, the state could give uh, funds through various schemes that are already there, whether it's the um, Mumbai Metropolitan Regional Heritage Scheme or other schemes. If we can use this one year and every day of this one year towards making sure that by 15th August 2017, we can restore August Kanti Maidan, Azad Maidan and, and Sardar Gruha, uh, I think that that would be for all of us uh, a great achievement, not just an achievement, but at least we would be able to see history in the eye. Because currently what we have condemned history to and all our national icons to uh, is a very sad and, and uh, shameful act. And we thank you so much for your for being a, a leader in this field and in leading this vision through so that next year, 15th August, when we all uh, go past these places, we don't hang our heads in shame. And I'm very grateful to all of you who've come today, who braved the rain and the weather uh, for making it here. And I hope that when we meet next year, it's with a great sense of achievement and pride. Thank you. Prepare a question with their consent, take the signature and go to Delhi and present it in the parliament. So it will be a question, alert it will be tabled. These are the procedures now. How to do it? Is it a democracy process? Uh, process and you do that. And from my side, I take all the steps. Let them move. And let them give the press. You can try to initially let us free up from places so that you can go Because when you started, 
Vinodya, how many, how much of area is under encroachment and what we have to do, these things are amount and gradually we can solve the problem. And one day I'll visit all the places. I'll have a visit with your petition, representation. The moment you bring me the representation, I'll have a Honorable Governor, sir, I am Anil Singh, the Municipal Councillor of August Kanti Maidan. I would just like to uh, request you or bring to your notice. Gautam uh, gave me this uh, with Atanji one year before. I am persuading this with BMC. But definitely to my level it is very small and I am very glad to be here, a part of this delegation to you. And definitely I am assured now that this will be taken up. I would like to just bring to your notice uh, when we started this, he gave me the idea about the costing. That was some round about 12 to 15 crores of the development and the HPAL part was a different part, so that could uh, go to 20 crores. Being the councillor of Augustanti Maidan since last 10 years, I have used round about 4 crore rupees of municipal funds, just maintaining it or basically developing it for children's seniors. So I, today I think that that was a waste of the money there if something this uh, like this would have been there for the Mumbai Mahapalika, I think that money would have been very, uh, properly used. It's four crores within, I think, eight or nine years. So I think I'm, I'm hopeful after this meeting under your leadership that can be used accordingly. And BMC has got funds. We had discussed this with Ajay Mehta Sa, uh, Kunte Sa before the commission. And uh, I'm, I'm hopeful to simple money. You have thousands of crores. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I, I think I have wasted that four crores. Some guidance was not there. Yeah, that's right. You are not able to spend that money. It's gone to four dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm.